21 top field dragsters made the trip to Route 66 for the Gerber Collision and Glass NHRA Nationals presented by Peak Performance. 16 of them will get to come back and play tomorrow on race day. That means five of them about to make their final pass of the weekend. High drama on top of many other things we are keeping track of here, like the Mission Foods Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge. And I'm joined here in the booth as Lex June completes his burnout. A former Funny Car World Champion, and this weekend, more importantly, the father of an expert car livery designer. My six Fast Jack Beckman. Welcome back, sir. Good to be back. World's fastest elevator repairman, Jason. I didn't get credit for that. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm just going to go with world champion. I like that. Jason, my son, is 16, and, and um, he does like rounding up. He does? He That's does. Okay. And, he, and he spends a lot of time on the iRacing. and he does a lot of paint job designs. And he's gotten pretty accomplished at it. And a couple of funny car guys started saying, hey, throw some my way. And uh, Chris King loved the one that Jason did for the Howard's car and it made the debut out here. And Jason said, Dad, any chance we'd go out there for the race? And I said, there's no chance because Dad can't get off of work and travel's expensive. But here we are anyway. 21 top fuel cars. I like it when qualifying matters besides points, and it does here. It's mattered all weekend at Will and both Nitro classes. This is Lex Jude from folks at Redline Oil, CP Gates, the Never Quit team. His wife, Gerda, walking away from the Flying Dutchman. Lex is on the outside looking in right now. 460 is the target. That is not going to get it done. No. Instant tire smoke. He did a good job of pedaling the car. That's getting it to recover after lifting off the throttle and getting back on. The problem is if you spin that early, that kills the ET. You're never going to recover and run a 460. A 588 for Lex as he pedaled it down the racetrack there. And you wonder about the mechanical issues that that team had in qualifying session number two when the butterflies seemed to close almost immediately at the hit of the throttle. And he labored down the track and how much they would like to have that run back. Always love when Lex and Gerda can make it out here to a national event. Love seeing them on the tour again. Look forward to the next time that we get to see them. Unfortunately, for the Never Quit team, it will not be tomorrow. Yeah, and Jason, so many knobs to turn. It's one thing if you take a nine-second car out there and your variables are the weather, the wind, uh, throttle stop settings, things like that. And I enjoy that type of racing, did it for years. You run a fuel car down the racetrack, there are so many adjustments. You've got their track specialists out there looking at the available grip, you're monitoring the weather, you're changing the blower overdrive, the compression ratio, the nitro percentage, the timing graph on the car, the clutch weights, the timers, and they all work in unison.